Last time on Strip Search. This morning we're gonna be playing Jungle Speed. The totem is over here. Have fun. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm so That's sorry. I know. A fun game with a serious result. The last redraw ticket. This afternoon's challenge, much like this morning's event, is also about speed. Speed and consistency. Consistency is very important for a webcomic. Consistency of update schedule, of style, and of your signature. You're gonna be asked to sign your name a lot, whether it's at a convention or on merchandise. You need to be quick and consistent. My first instinct is I have it in the bag. Uh, because my signature is just a KR. I, I think I'm kind of hosed. My autograph takes a little bit of time because I, I try to do like a little head shape with a face and a little hairline on it. So I'm like, ah, oh, if I'm gonna be doing my autograph, I'm gonna have to change it up a bit. However, all of you have different signatures, possibly some way longer or shorter than others, so that wouldn't be especially fair. So this afternoon, we're going to ask you to all be signing the same signature. Hopefully, this is the first time that you will have ever forged the signature of President Obama. God damn it. I hope this isn't for something illegal. I don't want to be complicit in some sort of large scale check scheme of some sort. Are you sure this is not going to get us arrested? Because I'm pretty sure we're going to get arrested after this. So I know this may seem like bullshit and like, come on, I mean, the consistency of signature, what does that mean? How is that really going to affect things? But. Uh, the fact is, is that we have been under a number of circumstances in which we have had to sign a lot of things. I mean, for instance, on like the DVD pre-orders for season one, uh, we were in a warehouse signing signatures for seven and a half hours straight, and it was brutal. People will take note and they will email you and harass you about how bad your signature is, and that is what you want to avoid. Every signature that you do will be one point. Uh, now, every signature that we deem unacceptable will be negative one point. So you need to make sure that it is as accurate as possible. And uh, another way that signatures have um, become even more and more important and in bulk is with the popularity of Kickstarter. The easiest way to add value to an item as a creator is for you to sign that item. I think it can add up quicker than you think. It may be one of a thousand to you, but for the person receiving it, that's all they're getting. And every one of these index cards is a book or a DVD. So you can't screw this up or else you've ruined a product. I've totally had to trash products before because my signature looks fucking awful. You'll each be given 1,000 index cards and one hour to sign as many of them as possible. You're not gonna be expected to necessarily get through all 1,000 in the hour, but do the best you can while keeping consistent. Begin. Okay, let's do it. Uh, hopefully I can bust this out quickly and accurately. The way I draw naturally is very loose and um, very quick, and I sort of rely on my mistakes to make my drawings interesting. So I'm not all about consistency. This is looking real good right here. This yeah. is strong. And it's looking this nice. This is like... I think Obama wrote that. I think Obama... Is Obama here? Yeah, it is. <laughs> crazy, actually. That is ridiculously close. That's really good. This is pretty daunting, especially um, I know that trying to do this with any major speed, I will not be able to get anything consistent. I think I'm going to shoot somewhere in the middle. I'm going to try to get them as accurate as possible, but not 
not linger. This person over here, so fucked. <laughs> Just FYI, you might want to look at that signature again. You're really fucking it up. <laughs> Why is Josh so mean all of a sudden? <laughs> I'm being honest, really. I'm helping him right now. Crap. Salvageable. Crap. Salvageable. Seems simple, but man, I don't know how that guy draws O's like that, because I cannot get it. Somebody's getting worse. <laughs> Fix it. Look at the signature. I'm serious. Silence from the peanut gallery. The peanut no gallery is judging you. Yeah. You are going to fail. <laughs> Pay attention. It's deceptively simple. Simple things frequently are. Something that looks beautiful and balanced and is very simple is actually extremely difficult to get that way. These are consistently the same, but the same is not the same as Obama's signature. I feel like we should give a, a little tip for this, because this is a fucking problem. Well, no, well, there's a little... That is not the same thing I as a I understand that. Ojama. A lot of Ojamas, guys. <laughs> Listen, one of you is like printing liquid gold over there, all right? Yeah, and one of you is just shitting on paper. I thought I thought Josh's feedback was incredibly fair and consistent and very con <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't keep a straight face for that. Awful. You are just throwing points away. He's a fucking dick. <laughs> pain in the ass. Fucking huge pain in the ass. The way you draw a circle is a very personal thing. Like, it differs from person to person. You start it in a particular place, you end it a certain way, you've got a stroke that carries it around, and when you try to try to recreate someone else's circle, where it starts and ends and how it loops, good luck. Wow. This, one go, this, one gets, this one gets plus one. Plus one. I think we might all wind up with negative points here. And after this, you guys are gonna be able to forge Obama's signature on checks, back of credit cards, personal letters to family and friends. There's a B? Where's the B? That's what the... Oh, is that what the line is? Ah, well. Interesting, an interesting interpretation. Somebody stepped it up quite a bit from their shit from before. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, except that one. <laughs> It looks like Obama yeah, wrote this. Like, this is how like how far are we into this now? And this is like well, don't walk over there. Unfortunately, they're not all like that. We get everything decent, and then the tail will be too short. Set that aside as one of the best examples. Oh, I've by seen. the way, you're gonna get docked for smudging your own signature. God damn it! I felt like I was doing okay, but they seem to criticize quite a bit of mistakes, and I was just like, I'm making all of those mistakes. 30 minutes, half the time. How are your hands doing? My thumb hurts. I took a cursory glance around the table at everybody else's and when you know they would make mentions, I would glance over at the judges, see if they were holding up a particular one, try to get some constructive criticism out of the whole thing. Okay. Getting better. It's getting way better. Getting way, way better. Uh, I tried changing up a couple of things and you know getting comfortable with the signature, but there were some really terrible ones. No. <laughs> I think this pile, this pile may be a net positive for the first time. So do some of you realize that you're shitting the bed? Or like, honestly, like, I mean, I'm wondering, like when you look at it, do you think, are some of you thinking, no way? Yep. Yep. I bit. recognize sometimes the, the, when they're terrible, but you, we still have to turn them in, right? Yep. yep. <laughs> One person is staying really crappy, but they're getting better. Yeah. They're still awful compared to the rest of the people. I thought every negative comment was aimed just for me, which maybe makes me self-absorbed, but I was pretty sure that they were, some of them were for me. Pretty sure he was talking about my stack the whole time. It has to be me. Ha! There you go, there's a point. That's a good one. <laughs> Maki, do you think that right now, that you hate yourself and you want to die? Getting there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so weird, after a few hours of this, you actually, your whole body starts to get sore. If you screwed it up, there's no point in trying to correct it. It's already fucked. <laughs> Don't waste your time. Stop making me laugh. God damn it. All right, Josh brings up some good points. <laughs> okay. <laughs> your 
B stroke is up. Is, is that how you normally do Bs and whatnot in real life, or just you're just recreating that artwork essentially? I'm just trying to recreate that. Got it. I think I am sucking a lot. What is this? This is like a pinto bean. <laughs> That's not very nice. Ah, Olama again. Olama. It wasn't feedback, it was noise. <laughs> Wait, no. Okay, it was feedback in the most literal sense of the word, where it was just uh, designed to, to throw you off and not really be constructive at all. <laughs> 10 minutes left. If your O is smaller than everyone else's, you're going to fail. Actually, the challenge was really fun. It's just kind of like an enjoyable, carefree activity, even though so much is at stake. So um, yeah, I found it. I found it fun, like just sitting there complaining and bitching and listening to other people complain and bitch at us. <laughs> Josh is kind of a dick, but he's hilarious. I I've, I've written him a few notes. And that is time. Finish whatever signature you're working on, and rest your hands. Holy crap, Abby. What happened to your pile of paper? You used almost all of it. That's, that's amazing. Uh, it might be because they're terrible? I mean, we'll find out. You certainly have a lot. I don't think a lot of us did actually very well on this one. How's your wrists? <laughs> Davis, you look dead on your feet. Oh my god. <laughs> that's what Robert was talking about, where you feel all whole body soreness, even though you're only really just signing. Because the rest of you is tense the whole time. Well, as you can see from the piles that are left over, Abby had the biggest output, and as a result, had the most acceptable signatures. But that doesn't necessarily mean that your point total bore fruit. Josh, how was that event for the judges? Sad, mostly, really. I mean, you guys were not listening to directions. We gave you lots of clear explanations for how to fix it, and nobody did. That challenge also neatly illustrated the working environment at Penny Arcade. <laughs> so out of the five of them, how many had a positive score at the end of it? The only one that would have made money uh, is Katie. I <laughs> feel really surprised that I won. Uh, I felt for certain it would be Lexi, because I was sitting across from her, and she was like... And they were like, perfect. They looked great. Honestly, uh, I'm not surprised at all. Um, hers looked beautiful. Hers all looked perfect. The only person to actually come out of that with a positive score. <laughs> I'm surprised. I just assumed that it was going to be best of the worst. Like, I really thought it was going to be like, and with the total score of negative four, you know, here's the winner. I don't understand how that worked. Maybe I had like positive two. So, it's up to you to decide, yeah, which two of the other four remaining will be facing elimination tonight. But, this is not about a given challenge. This is about the whole package. Take everything into account. Do some thinking, we'll catch up with you later. I think she is is going to have a difficult decision ahead of her. It's gonna be really tough. Like she had to make the same decision last night and it tore her up and she's gonna have to do it again tonight. I have a lot to think about and this will not be easy. It was like equal parts entertaining and frustrating. But uh, I appreciate just getting to like, everything we did today was just like hanging out, which is nice. Out of everybody here, everybody I think is super strong. But like personally, I I fucking love your drawings. Like so I think fresh. that they are so gorgeous. Thank like you. I love them and like yeah. So I don't know what's gonna. I don't know what to do. Seriously, like like Lexi's a fucking badass. Tavis is awesome. It's weird. Like I feel like I should feel sadder right now, just cause like. I like everybody, like every day you like everybody a little bit more, at least that's how it is for me. We've been living with each other and observing each other for over a week now. I feel like, weirdly, I don't know, I feel like very attached to the people here now though, so like, but it feels like, I don't know, everybody's been so cool this whole time that it like, it takes the pressure off of like, Yeah, because you know they're sucks. not going to be mad at you. Yeah. You know they're not going to blame you for it. Because you're trying to be as fair as you can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
is like interesting. Now that we have yeah. to strategize a little bit more, we all understand that that's what's going on. So. Yeah. God, I say this every night. But tonight, especially so, I'm probably going out for elimination because I haven't won an actual challenge. I don't know how I got off scot-free last night having never won a major challenge. Oh, that's actually a fun game. Like, what kind of character can you make out of this? But I'm gonna do this to distract myself. <laughs> I see like a bunch of weird faces. Tonight's uh, decision is going to be difficult again uh, because I can honestly say I uh, really care about everybody and I really respect everybody. That was tough, wasn't it? That whole challenge. Yeah. Thanks, Obama. It did, though, result in two of my favorite signatures when Maki uh, really stopped caring and just wrote, <laughs> just wrote shit in the tail of the M. <laughs> Uh, and then when he really, really stopped caring. <laughs> but, at the end of the day, you have, for the second night in a row, very difficult decision, even more difficult tonight, because there's less of them now, of what two people are going to have to go and face the creators again. I'm going to make uh, my decision tonight based on um, the two people I believe really deserve to go on. What decision did you come to? Um, first, I just want to say really quick uh, that I think all of you deserve to be here. I don't think anything's gone wrong. I think this group is perfect, um, and I really care about you all, so this has been really difficult. <clears throat> um, Lexi, I cannot choose you. I can't choose you. I'm sorry <laughs> to do a dick move, but I can't choose you because um, you are a machine. Uh, you've been there. Tw you've come back twice, and... Your art is beautiful, you're funny. Uh, I don't, I think you deserve to be there at the end, so I'm, I'm not gonna pick you. Maki, I'm not gonna pick you. Your art speaks to me more than anyone else's here, and I love everyone's art so much. I am serious when I say that, but Maki, I like just melt when I look at your sketchbook. I love it, I think it's amazing. So I can't, I can't pick you. Um, so I'm really sorry, um, Abby and Tavis, I'm really, it doesn't feel good. I think that you're both amazing. <laughs> okay. Abby, Davis, you'll be the ones facing the creators tonight. You've both been there before, so I personally am really looking forward to seeing what you guys produce. I bet they will be too. Pack up your bags and come with me to meet the creators. All right. Yeah, like, that's like the only way Instead I could of choose. Instead the worst, which at this point, no, it's really hard. Yeah. Really it is sort of like a, it feels like um, it makes me still feel a little bad just because it's so personal. It's like a personal yeah. thing, you know. Like I just really respect you both, and that's not to say I don't respect them, but like as. Um, as people that I would feel honored to be here with, like I just, Computer you guys, or you guys are just really good. <laughs> you guys are just really fucking good, so. I don't have anything bad to say about anybody. Um, it's just that I think Lexi and Maki are art machines. There's still a lot of Jaeger in that bottle, so. <laughs> Yeah, it's got your name on it. <laughs> I'm really flattered. You have no idea. Okay. <laughs> artist, 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 artist. <laughs> and then there were three. Next time on Strip Search. I see two panels on this side, mm -hmm. and then I see some kind of novella. I got all the D I can handle. She won't answer the question. She's avoiding the question. Make me feel like Tavis is gonna beat the shit out of me.
Crank them up, crank up the C, crank up the D. I sort of dig it. Like I sort of, like it's, it's very surreal.